a good afternoon. Today is election day. I'm wearing this mask as a tribute to Ruth Bader Ginsburg and the other um, incredible people who have fought for our liberty and fought for the ability for us to vote and have a, um, a choice and have some input into where we go. So if you haven't voted today, go vote. Um, I'm sure most of you have, but um, we're gonna start off with Pastor Don. Uh, Don, share with us a little bit, and also Don, show us your shirt, because I think it's a really cool shirt. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. See enough of that? Okay. These walls can't stop the love, it says, yeah. Awesome, Pastor. Yeah, yeah, it's a shirt. I can't remember where I got it a year or so ago, and I thought today is a good day to wear it. It is. No matter which way the election goes, we still move forward. We still continue to do our work and, and kind of work we're doing, and be hopeful as well. Um, yeah, so I hope all of you are doing well uh, during this uh, continuing time of COVID-19. And uh, I know a few more people that we know are, are letting us know that they either have the virus or they are getting through it. Uh, and it seems like more people are, we know the numbers aren't great as far as lessening any, but it seems to be less severe for some. It seems that uh, we're having less people dying from it, and yet we always know that it's pretty uncertain. We just don't know what's going to happen each each uh, each day. So we live in sense of expectancy and hopefully in a positive way, not fearful, uh, because we know that uh, whatever way things go, God is with us, very much with us, and sometimes that's all we know. <laughs> so. Um, so you'll hear from the rest of the staff, a lot of good things are happening. Um, Thanksgiving service being planned and it won't be long, we'll be coming into Advent and we're trying to get some good ways to, uh, to celebrate these days, even though we can't be physically together. And I hope you're all appreciating live streaming from outdoors. It's, uh, it's a good way to do it. It's, uh, it's, it's seems to make it more real, I guess, in a sense. It does for those of us participating, and I hope it does for everybody watching, being a part of it. So, so keep uh, keep in touch with each other and continue to, uh, those of you who can, to tune in on Wednesday evening as we continue our series and I mean, color compromising, uh, compromise, uh, exploring how the church, the Christian church, hasn't really spoken out very much at all against slavery and against uh, social injustice, racial injustice, and we're working to do that better in the coming days and years. That's all for now. Thank you, Thank you Pastor Don. Um, Amanda, you had a fun party on Saturday, and tell us what else is going on. Yeah, thank you, Tom. So uh, we did. We had a wonderful event on Saturday with all of the kids and their families, and speaking of that, we did end up with some extra candy and I know, and if all of you ended up with some extra candy, you are, well, no, you are welcome <laughs> to bring it here to Bethel and we will be donating that to Operation Gratitude. So uh, we will be ex um, accepting um, donations of candy through Monday the 9th. So please bring it here if you'd like to or contact me um, or Leslie in the office of a good time to drop it off and we'll make sure to get that. Um, so thank you so much. Um, I definitely made sure I took the candy out of my house as well. We just need to get rid of that. So, um, and then I also would like to remind everyone that we are doing the pep blessing. Um, it will be aired on uh, Sunday, November 15th. And I am accepting videos um, of your pet blessing, your, your specific pet blessing until this Sunday, the 8th. So if you have any questions at all of, of how to do that, um, please contact me, but you can refer to our website and you can also refer to our e-newsletter and it will have the blessing on there and instructions. Awesome. That's great. Uh, thank you very much. Patricia, are you in a spa? You have the steam treatment coming at you. It's just like, oh, you see, oh, that's <laughs> my air. <laughs> I did. Wow. I can't believe you can see that. Um, yeah, it's um, aromatherapy that I really enjoy. So, um, yeah, so I'm hoping everybody's safe after this Halloween uh, weekend. And um, 
for those of you that don't know, my son did uh, do his peer presenting ceremony. And so we were really excited. Big weddings next year. But, um, you know, our family's thankful for all the blessings of that. And for those that were out there praying, thank you. Because um, it was amazing. Uh, but we also, we have so many awesome things coming up um, that I'm excited about um, this month and next month that um, everybody's working on. Um, and one of the things that's going to help us with some ideas is this Thursday's meeting at seven o'clock. The link is on the webpage. Anybody can join in. We love ideas. We're all on this together. Um, and, you know, uh, just come and join us. Even if you just want to see what we're talking about, that's fine. <laughs> you know, um, cause, uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's all of us coming together and we're all a part of this. This is what I want to remind people. It's not just us here, the four of us, it's, it's all of us. So, um, if you get a chance, just check us out seven o'clock on Thursday and stay safe, everybody just stay safe. Thank you, Patricia. I can't wait. It's going to be a fun meeting. Um, also, one of our staff people couldn't be here today, Farah, but she did want to share with us a, um, a, a thing that was important <laughs> to her. So here's the first of all, picture. this is what Aww. she wanted to share. That I'm yeah, that's fair. So you see her while I'm reading her words. I will not try to sound like <laughs> her, but uh, this is, uh, is Farah. For the month of October, general fund giving was slightly ahead of forecast, and we are now only a half a percent behind the forecast year to date which is really great for the first two months of the new fiscal year. Also, we have a $4,150 check in donations to send to Esperanza. So way to go wow. who are on that, which yes. is amazing. And we are starting to close the month of October. So any receipts need to get in. So if you're out there and got receipts of any kind, just send them to Farah and apparently she'll take care of those for you. Um, so those are some words from Farah, um, by Farah. Um, and uh, a few things uh, from my direction. Um, we are um, really enjoying our live uh, worship that we're doing, like Pastor Don said. Uh, so for the next uh, two months at least, we will be a combination of uh, live streamed, and some of them will still pre record and show. So that's going to be going on. Um, also, uh, we're working on the Thanksgiving Eve service. The theme is going to be Thanksgiving or thankfulness and hope. So we're gonna be asking you to contribute either in short video clips or just in words, something that you're thankful for during this time of COVID and also something that you're hopeful for or a goal that you're setting for yourself as we go out of it. And we're gonna have you as part of the service on Thanksgiving Eve. So please go ahead and do that. If you have questions on how to do that, uh, just get a hold of me and we'll uh, make sure that can happen. And then the last piece I'll share is uh, during the month of November, we're doing a fire pit uh, youth group on uh, Wednesday nights with our senior high kids. And uh, kind of the theme of that is removing the junk and making it open so we can have new ones. And so we'll be also having some s'mores and things that you should do around fire pits. But um, those are things that are exciting and uh, make sure you get a hold of us. Uh, like I said, send any of your receipts to Farah, and I'm sure she'll take care of them. Um, and in the meantime, um, know that you're loved and know that you're cared for. Have a great day, and we will see you later. Bye. Hey, bye, everybody. <laughs>